Anyone who's ever stepped out of a bed onto a soggy carpet or had to put life on hold to restore a flooded home knows about grief, anger, and blame. But blame doesn't solve flood problems. Selling the home, if it can be sold, just transfers the problem to someone else. Flood proofing is something homeowners can do to solve the problem without having to move. The decision to do something, the decision of what to do, is yours. If you flood often, Uncle Sam may buy your home. Removing buildings from flood-prone areas is a major component of the national strategy for reducing future flood damages. Several Louisiana communities have used federal grants to buy properties that flood often and keep those areas open for flood waters. But 30% of Louisiana is in the area known as the 100-year flood zone, and some South Louisiana parishes have almost no land outside the flood plain. So the national strategy of clearing the floodplain through buyouts is not practical here. Many people need other solutions. The best way to keep water out of your home without moving is to elevate. There are many levee systems throughout Louisiana, and they do their job in keeping river water from getting on our property. They keep storm surges from hurricanes, uh, tidal water, but, and they do their job, but they don't take care of rainfall. Now, we have drainage systems, but uh, those things can run into problems. Different systems have different pump capacities and they're rated at a certain level. You have the 25-year flood, which is basically 25 inches of rain in 24 hours. Sometimes we get 10 and 15 inches of rain. Even New Orleans which has a tremendous uh, pump capacity of uh, 11 inches in 24 hours. You get rains that surpass that. There is not a pump system in the United States that would, cannot be overcome by rainfall. The easiest way, the, the way you can ensure that your house has less chance of flooding is to build elevation. That's why elevation uh, is, is the solution. Elevation is a salvation to inundation. When you build high, you reduce your risk of flooding and become less dependent, less dependent on government and less dependent on your neighbors who may not always keep their tires, trash cans and basketballs out of the drainage system. At any flood level, elevation is more effective than other personal flood protection systems. Compare the home that's elevated three feet to the home with a three-foot flood wall. Both buildings are protected to three feet, but the elevated house is partially protected against higher floods. When the water goes to three feet plus an inch, the elevated home will have one inch of water in it. The other will get 37 inches and require extensive repairs. There's more than one way to change a building so the lowest floor meets the elevation requirement. Raise the floor with the building or raise the walls and roof and add a new floor. A house on piers or over a crawl space is easy and inexpensive to raise. The floor would go up with the building. Raising a building on a slab is more difficult it can be removed from its slab or raised with the slab. A third option, most often used for concrete block buildings, is to raise the roof and extend the walls. With any elevation method, the space below the floor must be allowed to flood freely. It can be used only for stairs, parking, and limited storage. In areas affected by waves and fast-moving water, the space must not be enclosed at all. Elevation is the most effective on-site flood-proofing method. But if you flood often, with water never deeper than three feet, there are several other ways to protect your home. This program is about those other systems and techniques. Flood walls and levees are permanent flood barriers. They are self-supporting and hold water away from the building. Sandbags and water inflatable barriers can be used as emergency protection systems or to close gaps in permanent barriers. Dry flood proofing seals the building so water can't penetrate the walls. The temporary version is wrapping with plastic. Wet flood proofing includes many things you can do to reduce damage 
without trying to keep water out of the building. Panels can be used to block openings and flood walls and to cover doors and windows in watertight buildings. You'll need to know how to pump out water that gets inside your protection system and how to prevent backflow through sewers and other drains. There are lots of things to consider when you make a decision and lessons to be learned from the experience of others.